Now let's see this problem. Uh, find the number of diagonals uh, in a hexagon and a polygon of 16 sides. Hexagon we have already calculated. Now for a polygon of 16 sides, further, so we will be getting line uh, by matching two points. So let's take all the combinations of two points that is 16 C2. So from every combination of two points or every uh, match of two points, we will be getting one line. Now all the lines are not diagonals because if we match two adjacent point, we will be getting sides of the polygon and sides of the polygon are not diagonal. So let's deduct 16 from it. So it's 16 into 15 by 2 minus 16. So 15 8s are 120, 120 minus 16. So 104 diagonals will be there in case of uh, a polygon of 16 sides, right? Now I am sure the concept is clear in your mind. Similarly, we have this uh, one more question. Find the number of diagonals and triangles formed in a decagon. The diagonals we have already discussed that uh, it's very simple. I just want to elaborate it once again. It's 10 C2 minus 10, right? Now, here comes the new concept that is triangle. Now, how do we get a triangle? Triangle uh, we get if we match three points, right? Suppose this, right? But the condition is that the three points should not be collinear, right? So if we match any three points, I just write over here, we get triangle by matching three points which are non-collinear right why because if we match these three points which are collinear so we won't be getting a triangle still um, instead of we will be getting a line right so if we match three points which are not collinear we will be getting triangles right now we have a decagon decagon means 10 points now, how many triangles we will get? All the combinations of three points will give us one triangle, right? A uh, number of triangles, right? One triangle by matching three points. So, in all, we will be getting 10 C3 combinations of three points, right? So, 10 C3 will be the number of triangles, right? If we talk about decagon, right? Uh, just... Uh, I show you the practical example of maybe uh, a pentagon or maybe a rectangle. So here I have a rectangle. I'm sorry. Uh, here I have a rectangle. Maybe this point is O and uh, we have this A, B, C, D, right? Now we have to use the vertices of the rectangle. So how many triangles do we get, right? Now since there are four vertices, we will be getting 3-3 three, three combinations as 4-C-3. So it will be 4-C-1 that is 4, right? Now what are the four uh, triangles that is A-B-C, D-A-B, B-C-D, and a d c right so we got the four triangles right so this this is how we calculated that right now precisely if you wish to draw a line we have to make the combination of two points if we wish to draw triangles we wish to, we have to make the combination of three points if we wish to make quadrilaterals we have to take combination of four points the condition is that in the case of triangle and uh, maybe quadrilateral, the points should not be collinear at all, right? That is very important uh, like condition, right? Because if you wish to make a quadrilateral of these four points, right? You cannot because these three points are collinear, right? If the four points are non-collinear, then you can make triangles. Right? Uh, I'm sorry, quadrilaterals, right? So the condition is that you can draw the number of triangles and uh, quadrilaterals if the points are non-collinear, right? I would just like to elaborate this concept with uh, one or two more questions. See, I have two lines over here. On this line, maybe I'm having, say, five points, right? 
and on this line maybe I am having four points right now the first case is if I have to match the uh, these points and I have to make the triangles and how many triangles I will get take okay so number of triangles right if I have to match all the points with each other now how many points do I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right and it takes three points to form a triangle so I'll be getting in on 9 C3 combinations right but further once again these points are collinear as well as these points are collinear so by the mutual com uh, combination of these points we want to be getting triangle similarly by the mutual combinations of these points we will not be getting triangle right so let's eliminate the combinations of these uh, five points right so it's we deducted 5c3 similarly we deducted 4c3 right further do not make a mistake like uh, just calculate it uh, carefully 9 into 8 into 7 by 3 factorial that is 6 5 c3 is 5 c2 so it's 5 into 4 uh, 20 by 2 10 minus 4 right so it's 84 minus 14 that is 70 triangles we will be getting right now suppose I have to get uh, maybe I talk about lines how many lines will I get right now for the for line it takes two points to match so we are having I just write number of lines over here now I have to match uh, I have to find out the combinations uh, obtained by two points out of this nine points so in all there will be 9 C2 combinations right but we need to deduct these uh, combinations the co like the lines uh, formed by these uh, five points so it's 5 C2 and lines obtained by these four points because these four points are collinear so in all 9 C2 is the total number of combinations achieved by matching two points out of that we deducted uh, the combinations achieved by these uh, five points because these five points are collinear similarly I deducted the combinations uh, which I got from uh, this uh, four points 4c2 further once again since I eliminated all the combinations that means this a line which is being formed by these five points is all is also like eliminated right so I have to add one similarly I eliminated all the combinations of two points but from this point and this point I'll be getting one line so still I need to add one friends be very very careful about this and this right because in exam there will be certainly an option that will be like this only and um, which will be incorrect and if you are not clear about these two uh, number of lines so we'll be ending up with marking wrong answer right so it's 9 c2 minus 5 c2 minus 4 c2 plus 2 that is the total number of lines formed by the mutual combination of all these nine points out of these five points are collinear and here four points are collinear right now for our friends uh, suppose with this data only and uh, these points uh, using these points suppose we need to make the quadrilaterals right so how many quadrilaterals will I get right further how would we draw a quadrilateral is it is a combination of four points while no three points are collinear right so how do we approach see if I have to make the quadrilateral two points I should take from this line and two points I should take from this line if I take more than two points from any of the line I want to be getting a quadrilateral see how suppose I take these three points right and if I have to match these three points to other line what I'll be getting I'll be getting a this uh, triangle not a quadrilateral right so what I have to do I have to take two points from this line and two points from this line so any two points suppose I take this two points and I match with uh, these 
so what I'll be getting a quadrilateral like this right so what I have to do here I have five points here I have four points so this is 5 C2 all the combination of two points from this line into 4 C2 all the combination of two from this point uh, this line right so in all these many quadrilaterals I will be getting so it's 5 into 4 by 2 into 4 into 3 by 2 so 5 fours are 20 into 3 in all I'll be getting 60 quadrilaterals right be very very clear about it because this is further a new concept so we got uh, we discussed lines diagonals triangles quadrilaterals right and uh, how do we eliminate the co collinear points in each case that also we discussed discuss right if you are still not clear just uh, do revise the previous portion of this lecture and uh, don't worry much i will be taking uh, multiple choice questions also based on these uh, concepts so uh, at that time it will be cleared right